And Samuel did that which the Lord spake, and came to Bethlehem. And the elders of the town trembled at his coming, and said, Comest thou peaceably? And he said, Peaceably. I am come to sacrifice unto the Lord. Sanctify yourselves, and come with me to the sacrifice. And he sanctified Jesse and his sons, and called them to the sacrifice. And it came to pass, when they were come, that he looked on Eliab, and said, Surely the Lord's anointed is before him. But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance, or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. When the people of the Most High stop viewing the world in the perception of the workers of iniquity in the beast system, they will have an eye to see and an ear to hear. Israelites, I'm not here to educate the other species of mankind and their numerous subgroups. The demons in the flesh already know who they are and their origin. They spent many generations concealing who they are for you to never find out. The awakening is for the people who want truth as well as deepening their spiritual roots. The other species of mankind are not interested in the truth. The truth for them is a dagger to the heart. The truth is a testimony of their fate. The truth is not good news for them. The scripture said the truth set us free. For them, the truth is judgment that would lead them into bondage. He that leadeth into captivity shall go into captivity. He that killeth with the sword must be killed with the sword. Here is the patience and faith of the saints. The other species of mankind are not captives. Their kind are the ones holding the indigenous black people in captivity. I never understand why the other species of mankind believe they need a savior. What are you being saved from? Yourselves? Your violence? Your laws? And your delusions? I will never understand the concept of the world needing a Messiah to save it. I thought people who are in distress need to be saved. If you're running the world with your father Satan and your kind is privileged in the beast system, this is your heaven. Therefore, you consider yourself superior in your kingdom with your father. In addition, blessed and highly favored. Israelites, the world don't need to be saved. The people who are in captivity need to be saved. The captives in this generation need the teachings and instructions of the Messiah to lead them to the Most High to be saved. I hope you understand the reason Yahshua said, I was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But he answered and said, I am not sent but unto the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The Israelites are captives in their enemy's land until this day. That is why the Messiah was sent to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. The Israelites are the group of people that are lost and need guidance in the beast system. Some Israelites do not know they are captives. The workers of iniquity convinced many Israelites that slavery is over. Religion deceived them into believing that their captivity had been reversed despite of their dangerous living conditions. How are you not in captivity if the enemy can kill you without consequences and there is no one to plead your cause or to help you? There is none to plead thy cause, that thou mayest be bound up. Thou hast no healing medicines. The other species of mankind are protected in the beast system. Any violence against them by the hands of an indigenous black person or anyone they believe is beneath them are prosecuted to the fullest intent of the law. Is the other species of mankind saying they need to be saved from their father's kingdom that give them dominion to rule? The truth is medication for the Israelites and indigenous black people. Because the truth is setting the people of the Most High free and increasing the army of the Most High, the children of the wicked one will do everything in their power to stop their captives from becoming free. Why would they want you to become free when they profit off you? You run their establishments better than they could ever do for low wages. The entire community of Israelites and indigenous black people are a source of income for them. 
You do not profit from the natural resources in your land. They do. If you begin to know the truth, you will begin to profit from the natural resources and the gifts and talents the Most High gave to you. When the people of the Most High begin to wake up, it's a major loss for them. They know their dominion would end if the truth went viral and spread across the world. The scripture says Satan know that he has a short time. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. The scripture said, once the gospel or the truth is taught and spread all over the world as a testimony to all nations, then the end will come. And this gospel of the kingdom shall be preached in all the world for a witness unto all nations. And then shall the end come. Israelites, that is why the other species of mankind do everything they can to interfere. It doesn't matter how well we present our findings to the world. It doesn't matter if what we're saying is true. The kingdom of darkness will see to it that they defame the awakening in a way that will cripple the effect it has on the people. Unfortunately, many indigenous black people will believe the workers of iniquity who defame the awakening of the Most High. That is why there's only a remnant. Only a few will find the narrow road that leads to life. Because straight is the gate, and narrow is the way which leadeth unto life, and few there be that find it. Do not be surprised when truth channels do not grow in rapid rates like the channels that support the beast culture. Remember, only a remnant will return. The workers of iniquity will smear the awakening by labeling the awakening a skin doctrine and hate speech to encourage many to stay on the broad road that leads to destruction. The synagogue of Satan labeled the people who teach truth as racist. By doing this, it gives the people a false definition of racism. If only they could recognize the racism and the discriminations they unleash on other people in themselves, the world would be a better place for all people. We live in a society that prays evil and shame good. Woe unto them that call evil good and good evil, that put darkness for light and light for darkness, that put bitter for sweet and sweet for bitter. The synagogue of Satan teach division, hatred, and discrimination that leads to violence, while the awakening teach truth that leads to deliverance and encourage a personal relationship with the Elohim of Israel. Israelites, be careful on what you allow to penetrate your heart. If the wisdom of this world is all that influence your mind and heart, the children of men do not stand a chance against the kingdom of darkness. When your enemies become your teachers, of course you would have a distorted view of the world you live in. The scripture said only the most high should be your teacher. In addition, the people of the Most High have the Holy Spirit living in them. Why do you need your enemies to teach you who you are? The wisdom of this world do not reveal the secret things of the Most High. Only the Holy Spirit can reveal the affairs of the Most High. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you, and ye need not that any man teach you. But as the same anointing teacheth you of all things, and is truth, and is no lie, and even as it hath taught you, ye shall abide in him. How can the Most High order the steps of his people if his people allow the synagogue of Satan to lead them? Just because you live in the beast system, it doesn't mean you have to be a part of the beast culture. Today, the children of men allow their children who are easily impressionable be taught by the other species of mankind's educational division in the beast system. Do not be surprised when your children become violent like the seed of the serpent and your communities are destroyed. The seed of the serpent purpose is for destruction. That is why all you ever see them do in the beast system is steal, kill, and destroy. The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. Since the awakening, the faceless characters in the scriptures are identified. Satan used religion to conceal the identity of the people in the scriptures. Satan made sure the origin of his kind are never found out in the beast system. 
When it comes to religion, there is a controversy about the identity of the chosen people. Nobody know what happened to the many bloodlines the scriptures spoke of. Although they are the living descendants of these people, nobody know their bloodline in religion culture. The Northern Kingdom is missing in a society whose technology is super advanced. They have living AIs. They can clone animals and people, summon demons and practice idolatry. However, when it comes to the Northern Kingdom of Israel, nobody know who they are and where they are located today. The scriptures document every era in the Israelites' life, yet religion do not know a thing about them. How are the religious leaders teaching the word of the Most High if the religious leaders do not have any knowledge about the people who are called after the Most High? I have not sent these prophets, yet they ran. I have not spoken to them, yet they prophesied. But if they had stood in my counsel and had caused my people to hear my words, then they should have turned them from their evil way and from the evil of their doings. For I have not sent them, saith the Lord, yet they prophesy a lie in my name, that I might drive you out, and that ye might perish, ye and the prophets that prophesy unto you. There are dark powers and forces among us, but somehow they remain hidden. Religion is not only sorcery, but a system that hide the origin and the face of the evil forces the scriptures talk about. How can the scriptures say we do not wrestle with flesh and blood, but with spiritual wickedness in high places? Yet the people who believe every doctrine coming from these religious institutions do not know anything about these evil powers. According to religious leaders, all people are the same. Ever since the Most High began to teach me his words, the faceless people in the scriptures are identified. The word of the Most High became alive and the mysteries the church failed to decode became known. Blessed are they which do hunger and thirst after righteousness, but they shall be filled. Now that the Israelites in the awakening know who the characters are in the scriptures, we can put a face to the tares. The bloodlines the synagogue of Satan work over time to erase are being identified. The origin of the strange people among us are being found out. The workers of iniquity declare the truth being revealed in the awakening is hate and racism. When the synagogue of Satan controlled the narrative, they were blind to the racism and discrimination they spread across the world. Especially with the curse of ham doctrine they spread in their religious institutions. The synagogue of Satan defamed the image of the indigenous black people with the curse of ham false doctrine. The numerous hate crimes against the indigenous black people because of their biased media and prejudice against black people. Now that the truth is being revealed about the kingdom of darkness, suddenly the other species of mankind know what racism is. Now they can see color. I noticed when I follow the word of the Most High to not wrestle with flesh and blood, the more I fight against and expose the dark powers and spiritual wickedness in high places the scriptures speak of, the other species of mankind respond. If you're not a part of the evil dark powers in the kingdom of darkness, why do you respond? Why do you call the truth of the Most High's words hate? If the truth was in you and you serve the Most High, you would not fight against the truth. The word of the Most High is truth. Sanctify them through thy truth. Thy word is truth. The scriptures clearly state the truth is not in the serpent seed. If you're not a part of Satan's kingdom, why are you fighting against the awakening ordained by the Most High you supposedly serve? Remember, Israelites, by their fruits you would know them. We live in a society that thrives off the outward appearance. The children of the wicked one benefit greatly from colorism in the beast culture. Pale skin, colored eyes, and blonde straight hair is praised in the beast system. The lighter your skin tone, the more opportunity and privilege you receive in the beast system. Everyone knows this. When we go behind the scenes to identify the powers that push the features that are a mark to identify the strange people who are not made in the image of the Most High, suddenly the people suffer from amnesia. The outward appearance doesn't seem to matter anymore. 
If we live in a society where the outward appearance didn't matter, the world would be at peace. The only reason the outward appearance doesn't matter, according to the other species of mankind, the children of the wicked one are being found out. Satan do not want the spotlight on the origin of his children, nor does he want the indigenous black people to dive deep by connecting the evidence given in the scriptures to his seed. When the people of the Most High can connect the scriptures to their daily life, the word of the Most High becomes alive. Satan don't want the word of the Most High to come alive. The scripture said when the word of the Most High is alive, it's powerful and sharper than a two-edged sword. The word can pierce the spirit that bring forth results. For the word of God is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Because the word when alive can destroy the spirit, Satan and his angels who are spirits are terrified. Fighting in the spirit is getting to the root. When you fight in the spirit, you are not fighting the powers and spiritual wickedness in high places. Israelites, you need to understand what happens when the word of the Most High becomes alive. The word of the Most High, when alive, destroy the kingdom of darkness. Satan spent a great amount of time making sure the word of the Most High do not come alive in the beast system. Satan used religion to make sure the word remained dead in the people of the Most High. When Satan altered the scriptures and gave the people of the Most High a false god to worship in religion, the Holy Spirit became dormant because of the sin of idolatry. The scripture said to flee from idolatry. Wherefore, my dearly beloved, flee from idolatry. Idolatry is a great sin. Also, sin separate the Most High from his people. If you're not equipped for battle, how are you to win against your enemies? When the people of the Most High do not know how to cast out devils using the word, Satan and his angels can continue to manipulate and persecute the people of the Most High. Without knowledge, how the indigenous black people can fight against the spiritual wickedness in high places. Israelites, do you comprehend why the scripture said my people are destroyed from a lack of knowledge? My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because thou hast rejected knowledge. I will also reject thee, that thou shalt be no priest to me. Seeing that thou hast forgotten the law of thy God, I will also forget thy children. Without the wisdom and understanding from the Most High, the Israelites and indigenous black people are defenseless. The people of the Most High resort to fighting in the flesh. Fighting in the flesh is attacking what you can see. What you can see is flesh and blood. Remember, the book of Ephesians said we wrestle not against flesh and blood. Fighting Satan in the flesh is like Satan fighting against himself. Any Israelite fighting the kingdom of darkness in the flesh will remain defeated. The scriptures said if Satan fight against Satan, he is divided against himself. How can his kingdom stand? And if Satan cast out Satan, he is divided against himself. How shall then his kingdom stand? Before the awakening, the Israelites were fighting in the flesh in religion, going around in circles. Now that the awakening is here, the word of the Most High is alive, the kingdom of darkness is using every defense mechanism to detour the people of the Most High from the straight and narrow road. Israelites, stand firm and put on the whole armor of the Most High. Put on the whole armor of God, that ye may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. This channel focused on teaching about the spirit as well as equipping the people of the Most High on how to utilize the knowledge to gain victory in their everyday life. Understanding spirit is understanding the Most High. The Most High said a time is coming when the true worshipers will worship in spirit and in truth. But the hour cometh and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. For the Father seeketh such to worship him. We are living in a time where we must worship in the spirit and in truth. You will not find the truth in the beast system. Because you are learning truth on this channel and you are understanding spiritual matters, the synagogue of Satan will fight against channels like this. That is why you see obsessive ads to disrupt the message, as well as ads that counter the message. 
Keep your eyes on the word of the most high. Once you understand spirit, you are at the root. The kingdom of darkness via the synagogue of Satan slandered the awakening by calling the truth racist. They proclaim the Israelites focus too much on the outward appearance to get you to conform to their wicked ways. They want to reroute you from analyzing their outward appearance to stop you from exposing who they are. They want you to look at the heart because they know only the most high knows the heart. Israelites, anything we want to know, the most high will reveal it. Some have not because they ask not. Start asking the most high. Ye lust and have not, ye kill, and desire to have, and cannot obtain. Ye fight and war, yet ye have not, because ye ask not. Israelites, the outward appearance play a key role in identifying the serpent seed that has a perpetual hatred against the Israelites and indigenous black people. Analyzing the outward appearance further reveal who the principalities and unclean demons that manifest in the flesh. The kingdom of darkness made sure to remove and discredit any books that reveal the origin of the serpent seed. Despite of the synagogue of Satan removing scriptures to conceal their identity, the alterations done to the scriptures cannot conceal the truth. The kingdom of darkness can only delay the people of the Most High from hearing the truth, but they cannot hide the truth. It is the Holy Spirit's job to reveal truth. The kingdom of darkness cannot stop the Holy Spirit. The scripture said, everything hidden will become known. For nothing is secret that shall not be made manifest, neither anything hid that shall not be known and come abroad. The book of Enoch said Noah's father was afraid of him when he was born. Not only did Lamech said he begot a strange son, but he also said that Noah's appearance resembled the children of the angels. And he said unto him, I have begotten a strange son, diverse from and unlike men, and resembling the sons of the God of heaven. And his nature is different, and he is not like us. And his eyes are as the rays of the sun, and his countenance is glorious. And it seems to me that he is not sprung from me, but from the angels. And I fear that in his days, a wonder may be wrought on the earth. And now, my father, I am here to petition thee and implore thee that thou mayest go to Enoch, our father, and learn from him the truth, for his dwelling place is among the angels. Lamech revealed a lot to us about Noah's appearance as well as his nature. Lamech believed Noah could stem from the children of the angels. When Lamech's father Methuselah went to Enoch to find out if Noah was of the children of the angels, Methuselah, Noah's grandfather, described his appearance to Enoch. And now hear me, my father, for a child has been born to my son Lamech, whose form and type are not like the type of a man. His color is whiter than snow and redder than the flower of the rose, and the hair of his head is whiter than white wool, and his eyes are like the ray of the sun, and he opened his eyes and made the whole house bright. Enoch confirmed to Methuselah in the book of Enoch chapter 107 verse 2 that Noah was indeed Lamech's son. Enoch explained to Methuselah what the watchers did with the daughters of men. Both Lamech and his wife were indigenous black people. Remember, black women can make children with all features. The beast system called this uniqueness that only black women possess, the mitochondrial Eve gene. The tares and the serpent seed can deny this truth until they die. Like I said before, I'm not here to convince the other species of mankind, but to remind the indigenous black people of their uniqueness. Indigenous black people, stop letting the beast system devalue you. When they slander you, remember you are made in the image and likeness of the Most High. You are the blueprint to the human species. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he, him. Male and female created he, them. The indigenous black people are the only pure humans. Anything outside of your appearance should indicate an infiltration from the seed of the fallen has occurred. If Lamech was a white man and his wife a white woman, why would Lamech be afraid of Noah? 
The description of Noah's appearance resembled the other species of mankind. The only difference is that Noah is a black albino with woolly hair. And to this day, many tribes in Africa react just as Lamech did when they produce albino children. There are accounts of parents abandoning their albino children. History doesn't lie. The scripture said by a person's behavior, you would know them. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them. Lamech, Methuselah, and Enoch gave us a visual image of the children of the angels. The scripture said with the testimony of two or three witnesses, a matter is confirmed. We do not have to dig up the dead and use fancy equipments to study their remains to determine what species or race a person come from. The scriptures gave us the information needed to know the origin of the indigenous black people as well as the origin of the people with strange features that resemble the children of the angels among us. They proclaim to be the foundation to every civilization. Every time they disturb the dead that is resting in peace for confirmation, the truth always smack them in the face. The Lord is nigh unto all them that call upon him, to all that call upon him in truth. The indigenous black people should take note of Lamech's reaction when he saw he begot a strange son. The indigenous black people should have fled the scenes like Lamech did from the other species of mankind. Black people should have never domesticate them nor procreate with them to create more strange people. The indigenous black people need to take accountability for their actions. I hope Israelites everywhere can comprehend why the Most High do not want his people to marry the strange men and women. Neither shalt thou make marriages with them. Thy daughter thou shalt not give unto his son, nor his daughter shalt thou take unto thy son. For they will turn away thy son from following me, that they may serve other gods. So will the anger of the Lord be kindled against you, and destroy thee suddenly. The book of Enoch said that the spirit of the watchers, children, can take many forms to deceive the children of men. And Uriel said to me, Here shall stand the angels who have connected themselves with women. And their spirits, assuming many different forms, are defiling mankind and shall lead them astray into sacrificing to demons as gods. Here shall they stand till the day of the great judgment in which they shall be judged till they are made an end of. Israelites and indigenous black people, the scripture said their spirits can take many forms. When you produce children with the other species of mankind, your children obtain a corrupt spirit. That is why they grow up to become your oppressors. Israelites, don't let the spirit of division, the kingdom of darkness cast into the indigenous black community in this generation deceive you. The spirit of division is causing many Israelites and indigenous black people to view the serpent seed as a better partner over their counterpart. Don't let the kingdom of darkness deceptions cause you to corrupt your seed and bloodline. Remember, marriage is a covenant. The Most High said, do not make any covenants with them. Thou shalt make no covenant with them, nor with their gods. Indigenous black people, because the spirit of the fallen can take many forms, you have to start examining the world leaders in the beast system. Remember, just because they look human, it doesn't mean they are human. The spirit living in that human suit can come from the kingdom of darkness. That is how principalities and unclean spirits are living among us in the flesh undetected. Also, this is the dark powers and spiritual wickedness the Bible speak of. Israelites, the word of the Most High is alive. The word of the Most High will not return to him void. So shall my word be that goeth forth out of my mouth. It shall not return unto me void, but it shall accomplish that which I please and it shall prosper in the thing whereto I sent it. Let the word of the Most High be true. The time has come for you to believe the Most High indigenous black people. Israelites, can you discern why the other species of mankind are trying to say the outward appearance do not matter? They try to accuse us of a skin doctrine to shame us. The appearance of the other species of mankind resemble what the scriptures describe the children of the angels' appearance. The other species of mankind share DNA with the seed of the fallen. 
The Neanderthals live among the Israelites in caves throughout the scriptures. The Israelites use them in their armies. Why is it a problem for your origin to be known? Is it because you spent your life committing identity theft all over the world or living a lie by changing history? The Emims dwelt therein in times past, a people great and many and tall as the Anakims, which also were accounted giants as the Anakims, but the Moabites called them Emims. The Orims also dwelt in Seir before time, but the children of Esau succeeded them when they had destroyed them from before them and dwelt in their stead, as Israel did unto the land of his possession, which the Lord gave unto them. Israelites, I will continue to point out the differences in the two species of mankind. I'm not here to cater to anyone's emotions. I am here to tell the truth. What is the popular saying about the truth? The truth hurts. I love truth. I also love the word of the Most High. The people of the Most High deserve to know the truth the word is revealing. Israelites, do not allow the kingdom of darkness to detour you from the truth with their seducing spirits, as well as their emotional breakdown. When they are tearing you down, they tell you to get over it. The time has come for you to focus on yourself, your people, and your salvation with the Most High. Regardless of how they alter history to make themselves belong, the times of the heathens will end. And they shall fall by the edge of the sword, and shall be led away captive into all nations. And Jerusalem shall be trodden down of the Gentiles until the times of the Gentiles be fulfilled. Israelites, don't deprive yourself of this great wisdom that can better prepare you for the battlefield because the other species of mankind believe it's racist. They have done many racist things in the past and present. We call them out on it and it never changed their behavior. Keep pursuing a relationship with the Most High. Do not let anything stop you from increasing your wisdom and understanding about the world you live in. Your spiritual belief is none of their business. Allow the Most High to order your steps with his spirit that is full of wisdom and understanding. The more we pursue the Most High and repent, the quicker our redemption come. Let us be the righteous generation that initiate our deliverance. And yet for all that, when they be in the land of their enemies, I will not cast them away. Neither will I abhor them to destroy them utterly and to break my covenant with them. For I am the Lord their God. But I will for their sakes remember the covenant of their ancestors whom I brought forth out of the land of Egypt in the sight of the heathen, that I might be their God. I am the Lord. These are the statutes and judgments and laws which the Lord made between him and the children of Israel in Mount Sinai by the hand of Moses.